Hey everybody, it's me, Ia Patsy here for the August 2017 reading for the sign of Leo. That would be Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, so I cut the cards, uh, laid out the spread, and I did the reading using uh, the book that goes along with the cards that we're using today which as usual are the Tarot of the Orisha by Zolok and Durkan and I'm also using um, the Oracle Romance Angels cards by Doreen Virtue uh, for a clarification or oracle at the end okay but I've pulled all these cards already and I've gone through them and so I wrote my notes and I'm going to share them with you and um, it's going to resonate hopefully for some of you and for others it may not but remember that there's someone out here that needs to hear this message okay so here we go um, first cards that you received here were the devil reversed the devil card reversed which was covered by the Babalu Aye card also. So this this is talking about Leo that you feel like you are confused right now. You're in a state of confusion. You feel like uh, somebody's doing something negative to you even as far as black magic and witchcraft. Um, but yet and still you feel like you're not doing anything about it. You're just being passive about it. The uh, card that was at the bottom of your deck, being the Eight of Earth, talks about hard work. Talks about hard work and um, a product, you know, being able to produce things that are beautiful and, and lovely, that are worth value, that uh, people um, were interested in. But right now, you feel like all your hard work is going for nothing because you feel like you're, you're just, you know, you're hitting a bad streak, maybe. You know, you're losing your fan base. And that's very, you know, important to you, Leo, because you have a lot of pride, as we know. And you're very strong. You feel like you've been there for these people, that you've helped them and that you've loved them and that you've protected them and that you've taken care of them. And here you feel like you've been you've been abandoned. That the work that you you've done isn't, you know, doing what it normally does. Um, this also talks about depression and silence and seclusion. And you're even thinking about going to see a, a psychiatrist, a psychologist, which is never a bad thing to do, uh, Leo. If that's how you feel, then that's what you need to do you know that's not um, a bad thing if that's how you're being led then definitely seek that assistance out because some of these cards in this reading do talk about uh, challenges with alcoholism and depression maybe a little bit of uh, overindulgence in drugs and definitely overindulgence in sex but let's go on the f fire element which is your element is upside down, reversed. All right, so you're not feeling yourself. You're not feeling yourself. You feel like you're at the end of something, the end of of the road. Like your uh, your your fire has been extinguished. You feel. Um, next card that you got here was six of fire, reversed. Okay, so this is uh, the way it would look right side up and this is the way it looks reverse now this card is uh, the man is coming back victorious he's saved uh, the, the people from the young lady or the women or whomever from some danger out there and coming back and everyone is 
is proud and cheering him on and cheering him in back into town. But that's not happening these days. And it seems that you have maybe been a little bit arrogant over the years, Leo, and maybe taken advantage of the admiration and your reputation. You know, your heroic acts, you know, maybe you were a football star or maybe you, you know, were a good um, debate, you know, debater, or you had, you had qualities that people found admiring, that the girls found seductive, and you took full advantage of that. And so now it seems that you turned off a lot of people. A lot of your admirers are not so admirable of you these days. And um, your past victories have run out of gas. And your fans are abandoning you. Um, this card here, the two of fire, a lot of fire in you, still a lot of fire in you. This is about uh, education, knowledge, uh, joining forces with a Sagittarius. Uh, there's a Sagittarius woman in your life. It may have been a Sagittarius woman in the past who you really, uh, who stood out among the crowd of your admirers or someone that has been there for you, ride or die. They have been a, a good friend to you, a good support system. They may have been a partner and a business partner. They may have had a romantic relationship with you. But, and you, you really, you know, this, this is the person that you think could help you, you know, accomplish what you need to accomplish, get your reputation back get your, your work back out there, your reputation back up, your products out there. Um, and it would be a positive thing. It would be putting you back on your pedestal. But not so fast because the fairies and the silks have been watching you and they're like, uh-uh, it's not going to happen. Not so fast there. Slow down, bro. Because it seems that you have been, uh, maybe you were involved in a three-party situation, or maybe you weren't taking care of your home because you have the uh, two, I'm sorry, the three of water, which is in reverse. This talks about a possible three-party situation or your home uh, life not being taken care of in the right way. Um, it talks about a lack of faith and false promises, lying, um, promising people things and not carrying through, even being a false prophet, um, Overindulgences, like um, uh, alcohol, drugs, as I said before, sex, um, and you know, Leo, that you are very, 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 you know, sexual being, as, as most fire signs are, but you take a lot of pride in that, in your prowess, in your ability to, to you know, woo the ladies woo the men, you know, you can draw them into your circle and they enjoy just being in your presence. Um, and you've taken advantage of that in people. And, and you're getting older and people are getting a little tired. That's basically what's going on. It's like all of those things that worked for you all these years, all this time, is starting to wear out. Okay? So. You also have the air element, which is reverse. Air, element of air, which air will f also extinguish the fire, enough of it, and enough talk, enough negative talk, because this is reversed. Enough negative talk will put out your flame somewhat. It will, you know, bad press is bad press. Um, and if you're not getting, uh, if people are getting, 
enamored with you, unenamored with you, if they're seeing through you, all right, or they're saying, eh, well, that person, they're getting older or whatever, if the, your shine isn't as, as bright as it used to be in some folks' eyes, and there's a lot of talk about that within your friends and family. Um, there also may be a Gemini or a Libra or an Aquarius person around you who's uh, adding to the bad uh, press that you're getting. Um, they're, they may have disassociated themselves with you. They may have some beef with you, and so they're talking a little bad about you. Um, and that's getting out into your community, your family, your friends, your work, whatever. So you're getting pa bad press from someone that you may have, that you may have had involved in this third party situation or someone that you didn't take care of correctly, someone at home that you didn't do what you were supposed to do. But it could have something to do with you screwing over somebody and, and they're, they're putting the word out. Um, the next card that you had in your reading was the Babalarisha, okay? So the magician in the usual tarot deck. This talks about you having all the tools that you need to fix this problem, okay? But faith and obedience are your only route to success. So, you can, you can fix this, but you have to, it's, it's saying to me, what I got out of it is that you need to be a little more uh, humble, all right, about the things that you've done and uh, you need to look inside of yourself and be real about what it is that you've done to bring this upon yourself, to, to bring your downfall. Um, the next card you got was Five of Fire. And this card here, dragon in battle with these uh, warriors, right? Fighting fire with fire. This is not going to be an easy war. This is going to be hard fought. There's going to you're going to have to put a lot of work into it. But you're not you're not not used to hard work. You 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 are a hard worker, but you have to fight the fire with the fire. At the same time, you have to not allow yourself to be corrupted or tempted. You can fight fairly, but it has to be with fire. So if this is what you want, this uh, partnership with this friend, this person who's been there for you, or that you see as a potential, that has potential to uh, raise your standing back up in the community this uh, Sagittarius person that you may have screwed over in the past. Uh, you need to go back and find out what it is about you, you at some point in your life long ago you took it upon yourself to make a deal with yourself and that you challenged yourself. Someone may have abandoned you, disappointed you, whatever it was, but you found enough energy, strength, power, athleticism, something in you that gave you what you needed to succeed. And your ancestors are trying to remind you about the promise that you made to yourself and to God that you were going to tap in to your faith and that you were going to prove yourself to everybody that you were going to 
to excel and that you were going to make it and that you were going to be able to uh, complete your destiny. Uh, and you have been working hard, but you have let your, it seems as if Leo, you have allowed your, hmm, you've been reading your own good reviews, right? You, 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 you've fallen in love with your, with your own uh, story. You know, you, you have a, a sense of who you are in your own privacy that is different maybe from what it is that you put out, but it works. And it, it has worked for you all these years. It has worked for you all this time. I don't want you to lose the pictures of these cards. It has worked for you all along, but now it's starting not to work and you're starting to like, become depressed and like what is going on you know um, but this is happening so that you can one slow down slow down on your um, promiscuity your uh, if, if that's uh, the case and you know and there are people around you who know um, slow down on your alcohol consumption, slow down on your drug use, slow down on every anything that you are overdoing that you don't need to be overdoing that is what you need to address. And again, you may need to go and, and talk to a counselor or um, a psychologist, psychiatrist, um, because the only bad the only witchcraft that, that's been done is you running out of steam and perhaps some negativity going on with um, these sexual partners, people that you, that you may have hurt because of your arrogance, because you were starting to act like your stuff didn't stink. And, and it was okay for many years. People, believe, people agreed with you your stuff didn't stink. But you know what? It's starting to get a little stinky and people are not willing to put up with your nonsense anymore um, and so they're getting a little turned off from you and because you have it's like the hometown hero you know it's like you have been the man and all of a sudden you know you're not the man these days you know you're not the woman these days because people are busy they don't have time for you you have, uh, there's negative things being said about your, you, your actions have, have turned people off from who they thought you were, and so you've hurt people, or basically you've hurt yourself more, and so you need to get out there and, uh, and do, something, do something about that. And your ancestors are, are there, and this is their message to you that you made a deal with the Creator and you proved yourself more than worthy. You have excelled and you have been a hero, a role model. You have definitely been all that you think you are, but at the same time, somewhere along the way, you've forgotten about your faith. You've forgotten about what got you to the place that you believed in yourself and that you believed in whoever the creator is in your mind. Whoever your, you know, God, Jesus, you, Yahweh, Jehovah, whatever was your guiding, your you're guiding fire beneath your feet, the thing that kept you going, the, 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 the wind beneath your wing, so to speak. You got ahead of yourself and you got a little haughty and you just living off your laurels. And again, that worked for quite a while. But now, hmm, it's, a, it's, a, it's a different thing. And you can't just think that you can go around hurting people and go back and just 
you know, picking one of them up or two of them up and saying, oh, well, I, I'm ready now. This person is going to be exactly what I need to get me back on my foot. You've hurt this person's feeling. You've hurt a couple of other people's feelings. And they're not so thrilled with you these days as you are with yourself. So, let's see. Well, I uh, got one card from the uh, Romance Angels Oracle by Doreen uh, Virtue for you, Leo. And the message that was sent to you is let your friends help you. Ask and accept support from others. Again, this is talking about humility. This is talking about making amends, going back, straightening things out as much as you can within your Leo persona. But again, being, say, you know what, I, I screwed up, I made a mistake, I did wrong things, what can I do to make up for these things? And your friends helping you, your friends are also your ancestors, and your friends are also the creator. That faith that you looked at whatever the challenge was years ago, time ago, and you said that you were going to conquer it, that you were going to make something of yourself or make the best out of this thing. You just have to tap back into that and be sincere about it and be humble about it again and ask for support and help from those people around you who are willing to help and support you. But you have to be doing it for a sincere reason and at the end, to know that you have a work that you want to share with the world, right? You have a work, or you have a work to share with the world. There's seeds that are being, that you have planted, and you have, you have, you have risen above obstacles before, but you've gotten, mm, arrogant about it, haughty about it. You act like you did it with no help when you did have help. The help may not have been your fan base, even though it really was them also, but the help was the original help. The deal that you made with yourself and with your creator and with your guardian angels, your ancestors, that you were going to do it, and you were going to make it, and you were going to prove something, and you certainly did. But now, you've gotten a little bit, you've been smelling yourself a bit, and it's not looking so good these days, Leo. So, again, the advice to you is to ask for and accept support from others. Again, if you feel like you need to go talk to a psychologist, a psychiatrist, a counselor, a minister, a pastor, uh, a, a mentor, a, a grandparent, a parent, you know, your mother, your father, somebody that can give you some help, someone that can listen to you, that you can be vulnerable with, and that they can maybe if you go to see a doctor, a psychiatrist, psychologist, they can teach you how to be humble um, because it doesn't come that easy for you, Leo. But it can happen. It, it, it will happen. It's just a matter of you taking the time to um, rise above your own arrogance, rise above your ego. And in all those things, then you'll be back in the space that you were in. But you'll be better off for it, and so will the people around you. Okay? You want to be appreciated. People want to be appreciated, too. You don't have the, you know, solo road or, you know, the solo um, lock on, on, on wanting to be appreciated. Everybody wants to be appreciated. It's not just for you. It's for those around you. And you need to give thanks. And you need to recognize uh, those who have stuck with you, 
those who have been there for you, that you have hurt and turned their lives upside down, you know. And it's good to be the hero, but it's, it's kind of messed up if you're the hero because you created the problem for the victim. You can't, you know, expect to uh, get accolades for saving people that would not have been in that bad predicament if you hadn't screwed them over to begin with. You don't, you don't get to create the, the chaos and then come riding through, through like, you know, oh, here I am to save you and that's gonna be okay. Again, they may have worked over the years, but people are maturing, you're maturing, we're all maturing. And, and, and uh, people have time for that, okay? When I was doing the reading, this song came on, I got a brand new pair of roller skates, you got a brand new key. So, I think um, a lot of you might not know uh, that song, but it says, I got a brand new pair of roller skates, you got a brand new key. I think that we should get together and try them out to see. And I've been roaming around the world, but you got something for me. I got a brand new pair of roller skates and you got a brand new key. Yeah. So, that's going on in the background. And I'm saying to myself, yeah, this person has been out there doing their thing. And now they're coming back and they want to, you know, present. And, and, and they feel that this person has the right stuff to help them out and get them back to where, the, you know, they want to be, but it's not that easy. You got to do some work for it. You have to work on yourself and you have to make amends and, and be humble to the people that you've aggrieved in the past, Leo. But you can do it. You're the king, right? You're the queen. And you have the power and you have the tools. And there are people who there who are willing to help if you ask for the help. I should. Anyway, thanks um, for listening and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. If this reading didn't resonate with you, perhaps it will resonate with someone else in your life, someone around you. This message could be uh, for someone in your life, not necessarily you, but someone out there needed to hear this and so this is the story that had to be told. This is the reading for Leo for the month of August 2017. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll be back soon. Bye-bye.